All right, guys. So this is a tutorial to getting your PCG stream ready. You're gonna have the sprite and the timer. Now you won't. You'll. Um, you're looking at the timer right now. It's not working because I don't have this app opened. So once you have that app open, which is the PCG timer um, .exe, then you'll see that timer going down. Now I'm gonna help you guys on how to get this working for your stream. So I'm just gonna minimize this. I'm gonna start fresh. So delete this and delete that. Okay, so very new, what you wanna do, hit the plus sign in the sources, do text GDI plus. So we're, now, we're gonna be getting the timer first. So, Create new PCG timer, click OK, tick that box, read from file, browse. Now for me, I've extracted the PCG timer folder into the desktop. So what you want to do is get that text document, which I think you would need to create. I can't remember, I did this a long time. So just grab that timer. Click OK. Now that's the timer there. So next step is to get the sprite. Now to get the sprite, you'll need to click on the add source and click on browser. Uh, you put in PCG sprites. Click OK. So it's it's going to need that link for that sprite. Now to get that sprite, you just need to go into the PCG Discord channel, which uh, we'll bring it up here. So into the PCG time, um, Discord, go into the stream info tools. So you just wanna scroll and find that OBS browser source. And there's that sprite. Grab this link. Copy it, paste that in here, click OK. You should see a question mark. There it is. So now you, you just need to resize it to how you want. And that will pretty much show up the Pokemon that sp is spawned into your stream channel. And that's pretty much it, guys. Hope that was easy and helpful. Let's have a good day. Bye.